Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Inventive Tech, a channel dedicated to new ultimate gadgets and innovations. There are many different ways to deal with flying. You may grab a drink at the airport bar before boarding, or you can rely on apps to let you know exactly what's going on when a plane goes bump. And although we would never dissuade someone from traveling just because of a fear of flying, there are a few airports that apprehensive passengers may want to be aware of before booking a trip. Whether that's because the runway ends in a steep cliff or the area is prone to intense turbulence, or the runway itself is made of fragile, meltable ice, these airports test the limits of even the most cool, calm, and collected traveler. So in this video, we're going to talk about seven of the most dangerous plane landings. And make sure you watch this video to the end, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I guarantee you're going to love what I have in store. With that being said, let's get started. Number 7. Paro Airport, Bhutan Paro Airport is one and a half miles above sea level and it's surrounded by sharp peaks of up to 18,000 feet tall. The tiny airport nestled among the steep mountains of the Himalayas is said to be the most dangerous in the world. Flights are only allowed during the daytime and under visual meteorological conditions. Strict light allowances in which the pilot must make his judgments by eye rather than rely on instruments, as is the case in nighttime flights. Despite the perilous conditions, the views over the clear blue waters over the Paro River and the lush green foliage of the Himalayas are breathtaking. Number 6. Gibraltar International Airport in Gibraltar Gibraltar International Airport, or North Front Airport, is the civilian airport that serves the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. It is listed as one of the most dangerous airports in the world. It has a 1,777 meter long runway. It also has this four-lane Winston Churchill Avenue, which is crossing the runway. The short runway also abruptly ends at the sea on both ends, forcing pilots to hit the brakes immediately after landing. Number 5. Barra International Airport in Scotland Barra Airport is a short runway airport situated in the wide shallow bay of Tragmore at the northern tip of the island in Barra in the Outer Hebrides, Scotland. The airport is unique, being the only one in the world where scheduled flights use a tidal beach as the runway. Pilots flying to the airport have to worry about severe weather conditions as well as the rising tides. The runway is only 5 feet above sea level and all three runways are completely submerged during high tide. Number 4. Congonhas Airport in Brazil Congonhas Airport is one of the four airports serving the massive metropolitan area of Sao Paulo and has become infamous for the risks presented by runways, which for many years were criticized as slippery and prone to dangerous buildup of sitting water. Now to reduce the rainwater, new runways have been built in. The surrounding area of the airport is highly populated, so it has reduced the number of incoming flights. Number 3. Telluride Regional Airport in the U.S. Telluride Regional Airport is the highest elevation commercial airport in America at 9,070 feet. The airport also features 1,000 foot sheer cliffs on both ends of the runway and strong vertical turbulence during winter months caused by the mountain winds. It is definitely a challenging airport. Number 2. Guangzhou E. Yorosquin Airport in the Netherlands. This airport is located on the Dutch Caribbean island of Saba, and at 1,299 feet long, the airport's runway is the world's shortest commercial runway. It is flanked on one side by high hills, and at either end are cliffs that drop into the sea. Because of the runway's length, only small aircraft and helicopters can use the airport. Named after former Aruban minister Juanco Irasquin, the airport began operating in September of 1963. Despite the fact that there hasn't been a fatal accident here, many aviators consider it one of the world's most dangerous airports. And number 1. Tenzing Hillary Airport in Nepal Earlier known as Lukla Airport, the Tenzing Hillary Airport was renamed after the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest, Sherpa Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary. Lukla Airport is a high-altitude airport nestled in a mountain range. 
Its 527 meter runway can only be used by helicopters and smaller fixed wings short takeoff and landing aircraft. A short runway that ends in a steep rock wall on one end and a dramatic plunge into the valley below at the other means that Tenzing Hillary has no go-around procedures. Further dangers include regular and powerful crosswinds and sudden reductions in visibility due to cloud cover at the airport's altitude of more than 2,800 meters. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Which one of these airports did you think was the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video.